pulmonary arterial hypertension. What is primary pulmonary hypertension? Primary pulmonary hypertension is now known as pulmonary arterial hypertension, PA. The name was changed in 1998 because it was determined to be more descriptive of the condition. PA is a disorder characterized by an abnormal increase in pulmonary artery pressure, normal pulmonary capillary wedge pressure, and increased pulmonary vascular resistance. A gradual increase of pulmonary artery pressure can lead to eventual right heart failure and death. Increases in pulmonary arterial pressure are the most important indicators of PA. Imaging tests are used to look inside the body for a diagnosis. Enlarged arteries or damage to the heart are sure signs of PA. Medications are used to slow heart damage and deal with symptoms. Even with treatment, about one-third of people with PA will die within three years of diagnosis. Thanks to new treatments, this number is an improvement from the 50% who used to die within three years. The medical community hopes to find a cure to stop the damage of PA. Causes of pulmonary arterial hypertension The cause of PA can be either idiopathic, IPA, or familial, FPA. Idiopathic diseases arise spontaneously, and their causes are unknown. Familial diseases are genetically passed down through families. Environmental factors and medications are believed to be possible causes of IPA. Possible causes of IPA, appetite suppressants, aminor X, fenfluramine, dexenfluramine, etc. Hormone therapy, which may explain why more women than men have the disease. Most cases of PA arise from a mutation in the BMPR2 gene. Severe cases are generally linked to the presence of the mutation. Although the mutation may be present at birth, the disease may take months or years to appear. Symptoms of pulmonary arterial hypertension The characteristic symptom of PA is an increase in pulmonary vascular resistance. This causes an increase in pressure on the right ventricle of the heart. That problem leads to trouble in filling the left part of the heart. Eventually, the heart fails as a result. Common symptoms of PA are, difficult or labored breathing on exertion. Fatigue, caused by the heart having to pump harder and harder. Nearly fainting. Fainting. Risk factors of pulmonary arterial hypertension. PA is still not well understood. Research has found certain diseases that may make a person more likely to develop PA, the exact link is unknown, but the rate for developing PA among people with human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, is 0.5%, which is six times higher than in the general population. In 70% of cases of PA, the person has a mutation in the 2BNP2 gene. PA is noted in about 6% of people with portal hypertension, increased pressure in the veins that carry blood from the gastrointestinal tract and organs to the liver. Certain unrepaired, congenital heart abnormalities also may make someone more likely to develop PA. Diagnosis of Pulmonary Arterial Hypertension Diagnosis isn't easy, because damage inside the heart can't be seen during a routine examination. Doctors try to rule out all other causes of pulmonary hypertension before a diagnosis is made. Your doctor may order some or all of the following tests, electrocardiogram to look for proof of right ventricle damage or strain, chest x-ray to look for enlarged arteries from the overworking heart, computed tomography, court, scan to see enlarged pulmonary arteries and the right ventricle. Transthoracic echocardiography to look at the size and motion of the heart, function of the heart valves, etc., essential for diagnosis. Six-minute test to assess exercise endurance by having the person being tested be physically active for six minutes. Lung biopsy, done only if PA is not assumed to be your primary disease. Treatment of pulmonary arterial hypertension. Treatments for PA are meant to reduce symptoms and prolong life. Doctors often begin treatments late in the disease, because it's hard to detect.